Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am the Bourbon Bammer, and today we've got episode four of the Bourbon Bammer Show. So welcome to the channel. We're gonna do a couple things for you today. The first thing we're gonna do is a fresh crack of a brand new bottle to me, and that is the 1792 Single Barrel. I've already got a pour ready to go right here. The second thing we're gonna do is go through our bottle haul for this week. Uh, I picked up a couple bottles, one of which I've got a little announcement to make about it. After that, we're gonna do a blind taste test uh, between two whiskeys. I have no idea what they are. And then we're gonna finish it off with a sample review of Nulu's experimental series, the Amburana finish. My first Amburana finish that I've ever tried before. So welcome to the channel. So first things first, we've got the 1792 single barrel. And if you watched last week's episode, episode three of the Bourbon Vamer Show, um, you know that I picked up three 70, 1792 products. I chose to only fresh crack one of them one because it's you know it's a lot to do in a single episode i try to keep these episodes down to around 20 ish minutes that's to doing three fresh cracks would take a little while and um what i'm planning on doing is releasing the other two fresh cracks as single like short episodes a little bonus content for everybody um so anyways let's get started with the 1792 single barrel um this thing comes in at 49.3% uh, ABV, 96.6 .6 proof, 98.6 .6 proof. That's like your body temperature, 98.6 degrees. Um, it comes from the 1792 brand, which is a Barton product, and the Barton Distillery in Bards in Bardstown, Kentucky, and um, which is owned by Sazerac the same mother brand that owns Buffalo Trace, Pappy Van Winkle, E.H. Taylor, um, Weller, uh, you know, all that stuff, you know, as Sazerac Rye as well. Um, they own a lot of stuff. It's a big company, but the 1792 distillery, uh, I believe is in a different city in Kentucky. And, um, so it's a completely different product altogether. It really has no true relationship to the Buffalo Trace products uh, other than the fact that they share ownership. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing. And how do I feel about 1792? I like it. I've had the small batch, obviously, uh, on the channel before. Um, I really like the products. These three product, new three products are new to me. The single barrel's new to me. Obviously, I've already tried it a little bit. Um, I've gotten into this bottle a little bit. I really like it. Um, the bottle in the bond I haven't even opened yet. And uh, the other one, what's the name of the other one? The Foolproof I have opened yet, and it was pretty hot. Um, so with the, I'm looking forward to that fresh crack. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing on the nose. I get uh, like a cherry chocolatey note. Ooh, something different. Um, kind of like a plum, you know, like red fruit. Very interesting on the nose, very pleasant nose. Let's go ahead and put it on the palate. That's good. It's got a good like kind of cinnamon, um, a chocolate cinnamon note to it. Uh, it's very, it's very pleasant. This 98.6 proof is a good proof. Um, not quite a hundred. And it's almost like, it's almost minty. It's almost, I almost get some minty notes to it as well. Almost like a rye. I don't know what the mash bill is on this thing. I will put it up on the screen if I can find it on the internet. I do really like it. Um, it's got a pretty decent, um, you know, finish to it. Pretty decent finish. 
it's nothing to write home about. Um, granted, this isn't like a super expensive bottle or anything. It's like in the $50 price range. I really like this thing. Um, I'm happy I got it. Um, if I finish this thing, I'd probably get another. My score on this 1792 single barrel, based on the price, based on the availability, um, I would probably give this a 75. You know, nothing too high. It's definitely good. Uh, I'd definitely recommend anybody picking this up if you um, see it anywhere. Um, but, you know, obvious, but not in the B or A range, but definitely like C. I like it. Our next segment, which is the bottle haul for the week. And I'm going to start off with the first bottle. And it's a familiar bottle on this channel. It is the Old Forester Single Barrel uh, 100 Proof. And I actually have this bottle out because uh, I'm going to talk to you about liking this video and subscribing to this Bourbon Bammer channel. Um, so if you like the content, please, please like it, please subscribe. Uh, I'm actually doing a giveaway for the, to commemorate 1000 subscribers, us hitting that mark. Uh, and this is the bottle I'm choosing the giveaway. I went back to the store. I got the last one they had, the last one they had on the shelf. I asked the person at the counter, um, I was like, is this the last one you'll have? And she was like, yes, this is the last one. You got it. She's like, haven't you got one of these before? I was like, yeah, I may have gotten more than one. Um, but I chose this to give away because it's a really good bottle and I know it's not available everywhere. Single barrels, um, especially the 100 proof. It's like I've never seen on a shelf before. So I figured it'd be a cool bottle to give away. So if you are watching this video uh, that I'm releasing on a Tuesday, I have probably already filmed the giveaway. I'm going to release that as a separate video, uh, a short video where I just announced the winner. Uh, I don't have that many entrants, it, probably because I chose to kind of hide my announcement in my last episode, the Bourbon Bammer episode three. Um, and the reason I chose to do that is sometimes it's hard to do online giveaways because people will target it and scam, start scamming people. Um, so I didn't want to make it really obvious and I didn't want to promote my channel by doing a giveaway. I want to reward the people that watch the channel by doing a giveaway. So if your name is in the hat, um, you know, just know that it's not in there with hundreds and hundreds of people, it's a pretty small group of people and all people uh, I know watch the channel cause they comment on videos. It's, it's that same group of people. So I'm happy with whoever gets, gets it. Um, so I picked up this bottle this week, the last of it just to give away in the um, giveaway. So uh, the next bottle I picked up was actually in the same store. It's a bottle of Buffalo Trace. They had it on the shelves in this store. Um, and I was just like surprised because if you see this on a shelf in Alabama, it probably is like 50 bucks or something. It's probably up there as, you know, a museum piece. Um, but this was just sitting on the shelf for 30 bucks. And the lady at the counter, um, at I got it at a Vice's Beverage. The lady at the counter just basically said that um, she doesn't put it out and her boss doesn't put them out. Um, but she just figured she'd put a couple out today to see if they went off the shelves. And I was like, well, heck yeah, I'll, I'll pick up one. You know, like I'm not, you know, dying for a Buffalo Trace. Um, there's plenty of other good bourbon out there, but this isn't regularly available in Alabama. These make great gifts too, you know. If, if I finish my other Buffalo Trace bottle, I'll start drinking this. But if I don't finish it, and then I find somebody just getting into bourbon, this is a great bottle to get them. Buffalo Trace. Okay, um, next on the bur bottle haul is going to be Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A124. I picked this up today. Um, I know I've seen plenty of reviews for A124. Um, the most recent release of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I listed this as a bourbon I was hunting in the five bourbons I'm hunting right now video. So I was happy to see this hey, on the Next show. on the agenda, we're doing our blind taste test, double blind taste test. And the way I do this and operate, just for transparency's sake, is I have all these little mason jars marked A and B. I have them taped together and, and they're paired together. I personally paired them together for a reason. Maybe they're both... Uh, a certain type of finished bourbon, maybe, or whiskey, maybe they have a proof that's similar. Maybe I'm trying to compare an expensive bourbon to a cheap bourbon. 
Um, maybe I just think that I'd like to know. And then anyways, I tape the answer key to them and I put them in a box with a bunch of other pairs like this. I mix them up to where I'm just taking a pair out. I have about a dozen pairs, so 24 total samples, a dozen pairs of whiskey um, to choose from so that I'm, I don't really know what I'm choosing. Yes, I did pour these, but it was a while back and there's enough samples to wear. I'm not sure what they are. It's about as double blind as I can be without asking somebody else to come pour these for me. Um, and the catch is, it's something off of my bar. So if I'm doing a bottle guess, I'm really like looking around trying to figure it out. Anyways, I've got sample A in the green, sample B in the blue. Got it marked with little pieces of tape. And we're gonna get started here. So A on the nose is, uh, I get cherry. Cherry can sometimes tell you um, Buffalo Trace product. But yeah, pretty strong cherry notes here. Very pleasant. Uh, B on the nose. Whoa, I'm also getting cherry. But this one's different. I don't think I would put two Buffalo Trace products together, but who knows? Who knows what I did? Okay, we're gonna put them on the palette. Yeah, chocolatey, not super high proof. I would guess in the 100 proof range. So that's one thing I'm trying to guess here. I'm, try I'm try trying to guess proof within five points. Uh, I'm also just mainly trying to decide which one I like more, you know, kind of like a bourbon battle or a bourbon war or whatever. Um, and then maybe do a bottle guess. So A on the palette is very good. I'd say in the 100 proof uh, range. And I get cherry, cherry notes from it. B. This one's a little bit different. This one's more oaky. Definitely more oaky. Not in a bad way, in a good way. But it definitely has some more woody flavors to it. I'd say bead tastes a little bit more complex to me. Um, same deal. I'd say 100 proof. Uh, both of these are really good. I really like both of these. And I don't know what they are. I can't. You know, either one of these could be a Buffalo Trace product. That's my best guess. But I'm really not 100% sure, obviously, because I don't know what these are. They're both, neither one of them is like super dark, but they do have good color to them. I would say the A, I mean, maybe the, it's not aged as well. It's not like, they're not like 10 year old uh, whiskeys because they're relatively, um, relatively lighter in the color. Okay, so what I'm gonna say here, I like A better than I like B. They're both really good. Um, the, the B has a little bit more oakiness on it. Um, I like it, but I don't like it as much as I like A. I'm gonna guess 100 proof. And um, my best guess is gonna be some sort of, um, dang, what do I have Buffalo Trace that's 100 proof? Maybe E.H. Taylor bottled in bond? Um, maybe it's an E.H. Taylor bottled in bond versus some other bottled in bond like early times bottled in bond. Maybe something like that. So that's my best guess, 100 proof. Uh, E.H. Taylor in early times, I like A more than I like B. So let's go ahead and do the big reveal and find out what it is. Okay, so um, I was right in the fact that they're both bottled and bond. I was right in the fact that they're both 100 proof. Um, and I even got early times bottled and bond in the list uh, so B, the loser, is early times bottled and bond. 
It's actually from my previous bottle, because um, I just fresh cracked this like yesterday, uh, and I know I didn't pour these um, this recently. Uh, so early times, bottle to bond is the loser. The winner is actually a newer bottle to me. I got a couple weeks ago, and I haven't really drank that much. I poured a sample of it, and um, and then I tried a little bit of it, and that's pretty much all I've had of it. Um, I know this bottle is awesome. We don't have it here in Alabama. Uh, I got this when I went to Tennessee uh, several weeks ago, and it is old granddad bonded. It's the 100 proof OGD. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I really like it. I mean, I thought this was E.H. Taylor. That's how good it was. And it, I do get those cherry notes on it. Um, and I don't know a whole lot about Old Granddad Bonded um, other than what I can read on the label. And I'm not wearing my glasses. Distilled and bottled by Old Granddad Distillery Company, uh, Claremont, Kentucky. You know, early times, of course, is a Sazerac product. Used to be a Brown Foreman product. You know, whatever that means. Um, this stuff is really good. Really like it. Um, great value. Both of these are... So I guess I paired these together. My, my talking point here. I paired these together because they're both bottled and bonds, obviously. And these are... I knew this one was a banger when it comes to, like, value bourbon. This thing's, like, 25 bucks for a liter. And I got this into... Wait. I got both of these bottles together. At the same time, in the same store, actually. Um, even though the sample is probably different. <clears throat> but still, uh, got this in Tennessee for like 25 bucks. And I think this was even cheaper. I think this was like 20 bucks, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, but I really like this bottle. I'm really happy with it. Old Grand, of course, the Old Grand 114 is just amazing. Uh, this thing has a synthetic cork and everything with a little plastic top. It's pretty thick. That's pretty good for like a a cheap bourbon. This bottle's pretty thick. It's got good color to it. I don't know why I was knocking on the color. Maybe I just poured like a thin pour or something. Um, but I'm really happy with this. Old Granddad Bonded beat early times. Um, I think I could pick it, you know, if I did this five times, I think it would go three and two, honestly. I think... Early times could beat this on a different day. Moving on um, to the both final really good. segment of the day, we are doing, it's sample time. Sample time, we have the uh, Nulu um, five year, 10 month, oh, that's pretty interesting. I've got an age statement on this. Um, five year, 10 month experimental series, uh, single barrel Amburana from Nulu. It's 110.8 proof. So, I actually picked up five Amburanas. I've never had one, but um, the guy, the sample guy I get these from, um, was basically posted. He's like, I've got five bottles of Amburana. I'm going to open them all, and I'm selling bundles of five samples, you know, for 50 bucks or whatever. And I was like, all right. You know, I'm in. Um, a bunch of cool uh, names in there, like RD1 I've heard of, Nulu I've heard of. Let's, what else we have in here? Boone County Founders. Uh, Dark Arts. MGP. You know, like, I've heard, I've heard of the, some of those things. I've never tried any of it. I've never tried New Lube. Sorry. I've never tried New Lube. I've never tried RD1. <clears throat> never tried Dark Arts. So, I'm into all this stuff. Into some Amburana. I, of course, I've never had this before. And what is Amburana? And I'll put the graphic up on the screen of the bottle and everything, but the uh, Amburana is just a different type of wood. It's a wood from South America, specifically like Brazil and uh, a couple of like, maybe like Chile and stuff like that. So like Brazilian wood that's similar to oak. It's like a softer wood than oak and it just gives different notes. So this, this was treated like bourbon in a new charred oak barrel for uh, several years and then it was finished in an Amburana barrel. All right. I don't know how much this bottle costs. I'll put that up on the screen too. I mean, I did look at Nulu's website. I don't do a ton of like research before I do um, these non-scripted videos when I'm not like going through a list or anything. Um, but I do just check it out. So Nulu, I know is Kentucky bourbon. And that's about all I can figure out from their website. 
And uh, so I'd say I get nutty notes on the nose. Um, kind of like creamy. It's weird to say on camera. Uh, but nutty and creamy notes. You know, kind of like pecan, pecan. Let's put it on the palate. That's different. Not in a bad way different, but different like in the desserty way kind of different. You know, um, I'm not necessarily a dessert person. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm more of like, I'm the protein person. It's like, I like my steak or whatever. I, I'd rather eat a bigger steak and not have any dessert. Um, you know, and one of those things is, you know, it's like, if you're going to get a dessert, it's like, you want to, you want to venture out and get something different. Um, but you may not like it, but like, this is kind of like dessert. Uh, it's very new. It's very adventurous. Um, you know, bourbon's like the meat and potatoes for me, but this is kind of like dessert. I don't know if I would ever, okay. Honey, I, I, I get some pretty, what is that? It's like a ripe, it's like a very ripe honey. Um, in like strawberry. It's, it's a, these are fantastic notes, but they're all very desserty. Like honey, it's like pecans, like doused in honey. You know, like caramelized on a stove top or something, you know? That's what I'm getting here. But this is very desserty to me. I wouldn't drink this all the time. Um, I don't know if I'd want a bottle of this specific one on my table. I'd love to try some more, or on my bar, I'd love to try some more of the other Ambiranas. Get an opinion on them. But that's really good. I really like it. The 110 proof is good. It doesn't feel like 110 proof, honestly. It feels uh, under that. It feels like 100. Everything I drank tonight was like 100 proof, uh... The 1792 single barrel was 98.6 proof, and then the um, bourbon blind there, they were both bottled in the bond, so they were 100 proof. Um, this is 110. It, it feels just like 100, like the others. It's good. I really like it. Uh, would I recommend this um, specific one? It's hard for me to recommend it if I wouldn't go buy a bottle of it, so I would say no. I wouldn't recommend this specific one. Um, I do look forward to trying more Ambirana barrels, though. So anyways, um, thanks for watching, y'all. If you've made it this far in the video, I will post. Uh, so this is Tuesday. I'm posting this video. I will post the winner of the drawing tomorrow. So if you're in the drawing, uh, if you figured out how to enter that drawing, because um, I put typos and everything. So good, good on y'all for figuring that out. Uh, if you enter the drawing, um, you have a pretty solid chance of winning this thing. This bottle of uh, Old Forester Single Barrel 100 Proof. Pretty, a bottle I'm pretty happy uh, to ship to you. Um, I saved my bottle. My wife ordered me a bottle because we broke a bottle off the bar. My wife ordered me a bottle, so I saved the box with all the packaging and everything that the bottle came in. So I have a perfect box to put this in. Um, and the reason I had you email me is, one, so... So I could um, email you back and be like, give me your address so I can ship it to you. Um, and that was the easiest way to do it. Last time I did a giveaway, I had to do it off of Instagram and that was the whole thing. Uh, email seems to be the easiest possible way to get people to enter a contest. The funny part about that is um, how many people are not Alabama fans that entered this contest and my stipulations. And I just did this so the email would stick out to me. The bourbon bammer at gmail.com is an account that I don't use, um, but I get a bunch of spam and stuff in it, as you do, I guess. And so I wanted the subject line, Roll Tide, to stick out to me so I could just easily like file that in a box um, and know who's in the contest. And how many people had to 
put stuff in the actual uh, body of the email saying like, hey, I typed Roll Tide, but I'm not an Alabama fan, man. It cracked me up. There's some Clemson fans and Texas fans and Auburn fans and Tennessee fans that were just like, I typed Roll Tide, but I can't believe you made me do that. So so I feel you, man. Uh, thanks for entering the contest. Thanks for watching the channel. I do appreciate it. Um, I, I sincerely do. I, I appreciate everybody watching this channel. Uh, I have fun with it. I hope y'all have fun with it. Y'all have a great day. Cheers, y'all.